It looks like DJI is way more than serious about releasing their product this year. They're just coming with one after another, and recently they introduced Mavic 3 Enterprise, which looks exactly similar to the consumer version of Mavic 3, but it focuses on commercial work, inspections, surveying, and public safety. Also, the new DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise consists of two models. Anyway, just like Mavic 3 Enterprise, there is another drone, which is from Autel, and the name is Evo 2 Enterprise. It also has the same intention as Mavic 3 Enterprise. But the question is, which one does the better job? Let's find out by comparing them. Okay, starting with the design. As we said earlier, there are two models of the Mavic 3 Enterprise, the Mavic 3E and the Mavic 3T. There are no such differences between them, but they're equipped with different sensors and camera arrays. The same thing goes for the Autel Evo 2 Enterprise, but with a different name, which is Evo 2 Pro and Evo 2 Dual 640T. Anyway, both drones are pretty much compact to go to specific locations and handle difficult scenarios. Also, both drone has foldable arms, which makes them portable enough to carry effortlessly when duty calls. Furthermore, both drones allow you to install various kinds of accessories on top of them via the PSDK port. Now we're going to talk about the Enterprise model and then we will discuss the thermal model. The Mavic 3E is mainly designed for mapping and surveying efficiently. To do that, it comes with a 20 megapixel wide angle camera with a 4 by 3 inch CMOS sensor. Also, this camera can help to capture 4K videos at 30 FPS. Plus, the Mavic 3E is equipped with an intelligent low light mode, offering better performance where getting light is uncertain. On the other hand, the Autel Evo 2 Pro comes with the same 20 megapixel camera but with a 1 inch CMOS sensor which is also large enough to deliver outstanding low-light performance and allows you to capture with 6K at 30fps. But the Mavic 3E has a more extensive sensor compared to the Evo 2 Pro, so you can obviously guess the output. Moreover, both the Mavic 3E and 3T features a hybrid zoom camera, which can zoom up to 56 times, and this is absolutely amazing, whereas the Evo 2 Enterprise has 3 times optical and 16 times digital zoom. So compared to Mavic 3 Enterprise, this is actually nothing. Even the latest Mavic 3 Enterprise has a mechanical shutter to prevent motion blur while ensuring improved mapping. It also supports 0.7 second capture intervals, which enables quick and efficient work. It is time to talk about the thermal model. The Mavic 3T and Evo 2 Dual 640T's main purpose is to help in public safety, inspection, firefighting, and night operation. However, the Mavic 3T has an additional 48 megapixel camera with a 1 by 2 inch CMOS sensor. The main feature of this model is the thermal imaging camera which has a display field of view or DFOV of 61 degree and 40 mm equivalent focal length with 640 by 512 resolution. In case if you don't know what is DFOV, it determines how much scan field of view you'll be getting into an image. All of these cameras are equipped with a 3-axis gimbal, plus to double the efficiency, you can use both vision cameras and thermal cameras at the same time. On the other hand, the Evo 2 Dual 640T also has a 48 megapixel camera and a 640 by 512 thermal imaging sensor. Both drones can provide a variety of temperature measurement functions, easy to interpret temperature data. For transmission, the Mavic 3 Enterprise comes with the DJI O3 Enterprise, which delivers up to 15 km of transmission range. It even supports 4G enhancement transmission to ensure stable signals in complex work environments, whereas the Evo 2 Enterprise provides up to 13 km of maximum transmission range. Also, both Mavic 3 Enterprise and Evo 2 Enterprise boast 360 obstacle avoidance as well as ADS-B to make your operation safer than ever. So how long can they fly? Well, the Mavic 3 Enterprise can give you up to 45 minutes of flight time, whereas the Evo 2 Enterprise can deliver up to 42 minutes of flight time. As for the price, the Mavic 3E starts from 3810 bucks, and Mavic 3T starts from 5780 bucks. On the other hand, you can buy the Evo 2 Pro at $2,500, and the Evo 2 Dual 640T is available at $6,900. In short, both DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise and Autel Evo 2 Enterprise works in a similar way, but the Mavic 3 Enterprise has a bigger sensor, better low-light performance, and hybrid zoom. However, for thermal imaging, both drones are almost equal. For us, if you want full-on reliability, you should go for DJI. And if saving money is your main concern, yet want to experience advanced features, you can go for Autel. So what do you think? We would love to hear from you. Please let us know in the comment section below, and as always, thanks for watching our video. Like and share with your friends if you find this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.